had credible elections in this country, not elections that you are thinking of. In 1980, I actually took part in my first elections in my secondary school, uh, the Student Representative Council, of which, you know, we, we had this uh, election of students and I became the entertainment committee chairman. <laughs> not the food prefect. <laughs> but you know what? Those elections were the ones held creditably. We do have elections in our professional associations. We have elections even in our clubs. How do we come about making those elections credible? That means the institutional framework around those elections are established to give it some sense of sanctity. So it's not as if we cannot have credible elections in Nigeria. So what's the issue? And that's what uh, Professor Kila is speaking to. The institution called INEC is not the government. Institutions are created to allow the system and operations of government to work efficiently. If that institution established for creating uh, credible elections is not working well, we need to do something about that. The issue is to enhance such institutions in, in, a, in a credible manner that they will give us the kind of results we get in our professional associations or clubs. It's not about that person that is called the INEC chairman. And, and what uh, Professor Killer is speaking to is that, look, we don't want to know who is Professor Jekka. If that institutional framework is good, it will give us the credible elections. And that's why we're having a lot of hiccups. So what, what, what's the call to action? We cannot afford to be onlookers anymore. If you want that change, and if you believe in that change, then you cannot afford to continue to sit down and talk about real tourists. It's not gonna happen. We must now all decide and say we want change. And that's why you find someone like me standing up for that change. We believe strongly that the time now is to make that paradigm shift to stop saying these are the problems. They are not going to go away. Except we all decide that those kind of elections that make us food prefects, the election that makes um, him the president of JNIC, they are done by human beings. And the same set of human beings are in INEC. So it's important for us to start to believe that we're just that change agent that we need.